How's it going, guys? We're going to do a little different format today. You hear about driving for dollars, so I am driving up on uh, this ridge where we're building these townhomes, and there's a lot of unique characteristics about where we're building these, and uh, a lot of different things I was going to show you with lots and houses being built and things like that. I think it'd be very valuable, so maybe a rough format, <laughs> but valuable content. So out of the gate, there's uh, there's some houses being that are already been already built behind me, and uh, what we have right here is a little for sale sign. So you've got a great view of the river downtown. This is the lot. Looks like they've already started some dirt work, probably to make it more marketable right there. Uh, so they've already done some little bit of tree work to excavate it. Close my doors, it doesn't get hit. However, that's not even uh, to have a, a site build ready. I mean, that's nothing. Uh, I, I have uh, a friend who built uh, around the same topography and he spent around $200,000 excavating all the dirt out. And then that includes uh, another uh, like $100,000 for a retaining wall. So although it looks like a, a great lot, you've got great comps around it. It's, you know, you got a view of the river and things like that. I promise you're not doing a call, uh, the right cost number for all the excavation and the retaining wall. So that's a big thing to watch out for when you're buying lots. So the next thing I want to point out is this house. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm pointing this house out. It's we're looking at whether to sell these townhomes or to rent them. That house, it was actually listed for rent by a realtor and they rented it for $3,500 a month and they said that it was just a ton of demand for that uh, it's older house wasn't updated inside and it's a three bedroom two bath it's uh, probably a little bigger than the townhomes we're building but it, uh, it's obviously not updated or anything like that so that gives us a good kind of a benchmark for uh, you know, for where our rental comps are going to be. The so next thing I want to point out to you is a uh, is a big question mark. Very cool house. Look at this view right there. Uh, don't necessarily like the power lines. However, have absolutely no clue. I guess this guy has a a fire pit and. Uh, Love, love the door there, love the wood and the white, but uh, no clue what that actually is. Uh, some kind of a fire pit, outdoor kitchen. Uh, if you do know, please tell me in the comments. Uh, there is some houses being built up the road here. These have all sold before they were finished, so obviously, good sign for us for comps uh, I personally don't like how they sit beneath the road I also don't like how they sit how they back up to a power line uh, that one has a little bit of yard the other ones don't at all this is an extremely cool modern house I love this house so just some like I said some random uh, this, this ridge that we're building on is, is pretty random. When we bought this, it was, uh, we, we had the nicest, <laughs> nicest property on the block and now we have the, the worst, or now it's gonna be the best. We tore down the duplex when it was the worst. So this is a house my friend Travis built and it is exceptional. Love the 
standing sea metal roof. Love the deck, the views of the river there. It's really nice, but you can see how you go from that empty lot to vinyl siding to, I don't know, houses that need to be torn down, empty lot. A lot of construction traffic up ahead here, so we might hit pause. This, never mind, this guy moved. So this house is amazing. Look at those copper gutters, copper downspouts, copper roof part, that commercial roof quality. That's, that's a very expensive house. We're gonna do a tour of that later. All right, so we're finally at the build site. Uh, if you remember, we took down this massive tree, opens up the view, opened up the driveway. Real quick about this driveway, we wanted to really plan uh, to have a nice slope to it so it's very easily accessible for a car because we, uh, when it was a duplex, it was very steep. That was the number one complaint from our tenants uh, or potential tenants that they didn't they didn't like the steepness we want to obviously maximize parking as well so we're actually putting a fair amount of thought in the design on how to do the driveway my wife wanted gas lanterns on these i love the way they look however the site doesn't have gas uh, however this house right here i thought they did a great job of uh they put a nice lamp there and a nice light bulb obviously that's the house next door so thought we're probably going to go with something somewhere the house next to theirs did the same thing as well just a couple site things to think about when you um when you're looking at building or demoing and building things like that one thing i forgot about in uh the previous video is the lighting choices. I'm a big fan of cans or puck lights. Puck lights are actually cheaper than can lights. Uh, puck lights, I think around $20 installed. Uh, puck lights, yeah, and then cans are around 80. This uh, looks like we've got the electrical done, set, if you remember last time we had an HVAC issue there was not ran efficiently we got that fixed all good we've got some uh, nothing really to update you there just make sure on the lighting choices I just I really like to just go above board with that we're gonna put a window in there too to have more natural light in and we're also, for this front door, we're gonna have that all glass. And so hopefully between those things, oh, and we're also gonna put a, uh, a window in up there. So it's a piece of glass up there to let more natural light in. So hopefully all three of those things will really maximize the light in the space. That's a huge, huge selling point. Other cool thing that I'm really excited about here is we're gonna have a Tesla, or EV charging station in the garage. So I think that's gonna be a big, big selling point. So hopefully that helps and uh, a little bit of value to you. We'll site update, nothing, nothing too exciting, but progress, I'm excited. A lot of progress happening with the electrical and HVAC going in. Plumbing will be next. Uh, HVAC permanently set, then Insulation and drywall. All right, so we got a little bonus content here. Found an extra lot for sale up on this ridge. This has been for sale forever. Obviously a huge red flag uh, because across the street, there's million dollar townhomes. But I'm not saying this is not buildable because anything's buildable if you want to spend enough money. But I'm sure you're having a hard time seeing it. But down there, there is just a an absolute cliff and I personally don't like houses beneath the road 
just always tons of water issues. And it's not, I mean, it's a little cliff after this one little pocket right here. So you're gonna have no yard and it's, it's gonna be a very difficult site to build on. A lot of contractors are just not even gonna wanna build, build here because it's gonna be so difficult to work on. So pay attention to this kind of stuff when you're evaluating site plans.